हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल पर अलजाबुलकर अपटिल नाउ वी हैव सीन कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ सेलेनियम एंड टेसिंजे फ्रेमवर्क इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी वन रियल टाइम प्रोजेक्ट एंड फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी विल यूज कांसेप्ट्स ऑफ सेलेनियम एंड टेसिंजे फ्रेमवर्क नाउ सी सो वी विल डू इट फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच सो वी विल गो टू फाइल न्यू जावा प्रोजेक्ट I uh, will give some name. So I am giving mini project two. So already I have done one. So this is two. Next, finish. Okay, I don't want to create module dash info dot java file. So don't create. Okay, so we got it right. So uh, we want to use testing framework. So we have to convert this project into testing project. So see, convert to testing. Okay, next. Finish. So see, we got this testing dot xml file, right? Afterwards, we'll use it. See one more thing. Uh, see here in this project, we have to write uh, Selenium code, right? So for this, we have to convert it into Maven project. So go to configure, then convert to Maven project. Okay. Then click on finish. Okay. So by this, we got pom dot xml. Now see uh, in pom dot xml. Before build and after version. Okay, in between this, I uh, will add dependencies. So here I am writing dependencies. Okay, and in between this, in between dependencies tag, uh, we have to add dependencies. So for this, we'll go to Google and here we'll type Maven repository and we'll open this website. Here we have to search Selenium. Selenium Java. Then we'll choose the latest version. So we got this. We'll copy this, and this we have to mention here, right? So we want to add this dependency. So we are adding it in between dependencies tag. Okay. Now see that we have done. Okay. So see, I'm saving it. So see, when I saved it by pressing Control S, so we got this Maven dependencies. Okay. So here all. uh selenium libraries will be there okay now see we will create our first program i will write for first program okay we will go to new then class and we will give one name so program 1 suppose okay package and giving my test uh, we don't require main a uh, method because see, we are writing test in g code okay so finish Okay, so we got it. Now see, so see here I am creating one method. I am writing one method setup. Okay, and whatever the initialization code that we require, so that code here we'll write. Now see, uh, we'll require one more uh, function, one more method, and I am calling it tear down. So. What are the closing things are there? What are the closing statements are there? So that we'll mention in this method. Okay, so it should be white. Okay, now see. So see, uh, for Selenium, uh, we have to define driver object, right? So here we will use it. Okay, but we have to use it in every method, right? So better here we will define it. So wave driver space driver. Okay, this is a driver object I am creating. Showing red line, so we have to import it. Okay, now see. So see for Selenium, we have to set property, right? We have to call set property method. So system dot set property. Okay, and here. So see uh, here uh, that driver name will be there, and that address here we have to mention, right? So our driver name will be web. driver dot chrome dot driver so here we are opening chrome browser we want to do it for the chrome browser that's why i mentioned like this and here we have to provide path okay so see here is a chrome driver so i'm taking path okay so right click on this go to properties then we'll take this path okay i have pasted then to backslash name of this file is this chrome driver okay i am copying this close it okay 
and see i am doing on windows operating system so i have to mention dot exe if uh, you are doing it on linux or mac operating system so you don't require the dot exe file and you don't have to mention dot exe extension only this thing you have to mention chrome driver okay so that thing i have done now see after this we have to define driver see here we have declared it but now we have to define it we have to give some definition to this so new chrome driver okay well, likewise we have done so showing red line so we'll import it now we want to open some website right so driver dot get and here we have to mention web page url okay so here we will mention it so support https colon to slash amazon dot in okay so we will open this amazon dot in okay so that also we have done now see uh, we will use implicit weight so for this driver dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly wait okay and here we have to pass one parameter duration dot of second okay that will mention and for five seconds so for five seconds it will wait whether that web element is loaded or not okay one more thing uh, that it can do driver dot manage dot window dot maximize dot maximize okay so the browser will get maximized okay so that thing also we are doing okay so it is done so this setup thing or initialization uh, that we are mentioning in setup method okay we will run this tear down method after test case is run okay in this tear down method what we will do after every test case we have to close browser right so that's why we will call driver dot quit okay this method we are calling so browser will get closed okay now see this is the method that i want to run before test case and this is the method i want to run after every test case right so we have seen annotations in test engine so see that annotations we will use at before method before method why before method because one method represents one test case right so every before every test case i want to run this right so for that purpose we will use this annotation add before method so see uh, we have to add tsng library again it is showing red line so we have to import class for this okay and uh, this another tear down okay so when we want to run after every test case right so add after method okay so again it is showing red line so we have to import package for this okay so uh, basic things we have done okay so here we are doing initialization and uh, once test case is run after that we are running this method okay now see we will write our first test case so we'll give some name so i am creating one method public void verify title suppose we are verifying title okay so this method here yeah, i am writing now see so see uh, to make it test we have to use one annotation test right so what is the meaning of this now this is the test case so we have to import package for this okay so that we have done now see uh, we have to get title from this web page this website okay and that we have to verify okay whether it is correct or not okay so what we'll do driver dot get title so by this we'll get the title okay now that we have to save so what we'll do we'll save in one string object string uh this is the actual title right actual title now see that a string that we'll get and that we are saving in actual title object and expected title what is expected expected title now see we don't have the expected title so we'll take from the website only okay so we'll open this website amazon dot in so when we are working on any uh, real project so at that time we will uh, we'll know that title okay what we expect from the website 
okay so here uh, we are taking from this existing website we'll inspect okay and from this code we'll copy title okay so see i am searching t-i-t-l-e title okay okay so here we got this title right so we'll copy it see this will copy okay control c and here we'll paste it so control v okay so we have copied this title okay now see uh, we have to check it okay so how to uh, check the test cases okay whether the test case is passed or failed so for that purpose we have to call we have to use assertion right for this we are using class assert dot assert equals okay so already in one video we have seen this equals okay so here we will take it so this is actual title this is actual title here we will mention it here we are not mentioning boolean values here we are comparing string and this is expected title okay so this expected title and this is actual title so we are comparing if uh, if it is match, then our test will get passed. Otherwise, it will get failed. Okay. So we have written our first test case. Okay. Now we will run our code. Okay. So in testng.xml file. So see here we have to mention. Okay. So this is not required. We will remove it. Here we have to mention. Okay. So here one tag we require classes. Okay. In between this, we have to write class name is equal to in double quote we have to write package name so package name is my test dot or class name is program one okay so that thing we have done okay it is saved also now see we will run our code let us see so see browser got open maximize and close right so see total test run one passes one Okay, so again uh, we can see here. See if I click on this results of running should. So here I can see. See it is showing a tick. So verified title. Uh, here see this test case we have written right. Verified title. So here is a tick mark. That means this test case is passed. Otherwise it is. Uh, if it is cross means it is failed. Even if I click on this failed test. So here I can see all the tests which are failed. Okay, and uh, here I can see that message also. Okay, but here this test case is passed, so we will we'll not have that message. Okay, so here I have written one test case, right? So one we'll write one more test case public void, and uh, suppose we'll do very wide logo. Okay, so one more test case we will add here. Okay, now see. Uh, so I already I have opened this website right now see this is the logo of this website right now just uh, we'll check whether it is displayed or not when this website is open at that time it is displayed or not that will check so see and uh, so directly I will take X path okay here we'll check it okay one element matching and it is getting selected right so this is the X path right now see I am copying it and here we will write the code and before that we have to mention it is a test right so here we have to use annotation add test now see uh, here we have to write code okay so driver dot find element by dot x path okay and in double quote we have to mention this right now see uh, so by this we will get the web element now we have to check whether it is shown on the website or not so for this we are calling this method is it displayed okay it is written boolean value so we'll save in one variable boolean flag is equal to okay so if it is displayed so it will return true otherwise it will return false again uh, just like here we have called this assert assert equals method right of assert class so here also we'll use assertions assert dot assert true because boolean value now we are seeing right so assert true and here already flag it is mentioned so same variable here we will use 
so see if it uh, it is displayed so it will return true and the true value if it is match see here we are calling method as a true true and this is also true both are match this is the actual value and this is the expected value if both are matching that means test case is passed otherwise it is it will get fail okay so we have written our test case so now we'll run our test ng dot xml file let us see so see this is the first test case browser got closed this is the second test case okay see so two test cases we have written both are passes right both are passed and uh, what is the result see both are tick that means both are passed right so in this way see here we have written two test cases likewise we can add multiple test cases as per our requirement we can write test cases to check login credentials we can write test cases to find out broken link likewise we can write test cases okay accordingly we can write the test cases now see here uh, we have used this annotation before method so see before every test case we are doing this setup and after every test case we are doing this thing right we are quitting or we are closing this browser right see here if i use this before class already we have seen annotations in our one video so see if i use before class if the test cases are linked with each other so in that case we have to use before class right but here test cases are not linked with each other so that's why here we are using before method it is best way to keep test cases independent it may take more time to execute but it will give the correct result so in this way we can create our real time project and we can use basic concept of selenium and tcg framework so i hope by this video you will get confidence to work on real time project and you can use concepts of selenium and tcg framework which already we have seen in previous videos so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you